but when you talk about uh, you know the influence of the Mughal era in the fashion in Delhi today, um, can you think of specific elements from that age? Most women in Delhi do end up wearing extremely uh, uh, traditional Indian jewelry, which is. Uh, very strongly influenced by the Mughal uh, period, which is all Jadao, Polki from Rajasthan, and Jadao, which is obviously coming from uh, during the Mughal period, and before perhaps, but and it's Meenakari, it's mm. very traditional. You, there's one major difference, I think, between Delhi and the other cities in India is the kind of jewelry that the women wear here. Mm. It's always traditional. I hardly see anyone wearing, uh, you know, modern uh, or contemporary jewelry. So of course, some do, but you know, uh, diamonds, uh, set in platinum, uh, you know, uh, all of that is not Delhi at all. Delhi is still very, very big, chunky uh, statement pieces, whether it's Jana, whether it's Polki, or you know, any other kind of very Indian craft, right. you know, as far as jewelry is concerned. You know, Mughal influences, like, you know, women wear lots of jackets, for instance, right. in, in, De in Delhi especially five months of, you know, cool weather. Mm -hmm. they, they wear lots of long jackets. Uh, and in Delhi, I see a lot of women, uh, you know, wearing uh, more and more, uh, more and more I see wearing women wearing lots of gararas and shararas, which are very, very Muslim right. and, you know, right. kind of very influenced by Lucknow right. and the gharanas of Lucknow, right. you know, so there's a great influence of that. Right. Very diaphanous kind of, you know, all, all these women want to look very old world royalty. So they wear a lot of clothes that are inspired by uh, royalty of Rajasthan. Right. And obviously the, you know, uh, again, I, like I said, the Mughal influence comes in. Right. Velvet, which is a very strong, uh, very, yes. very strong statement in, in as far as fashion is, in, is concerned. Right. More so in Delhi because you can wear, you can actually wear the fabric and rich Indian brocades, whether it's from Varanasi, very heavy silks, you know, from all over the country. Right. But you can actually wear these things. So the basic look becomes very, and you know, of course, it, also if you look, uh, unlike in Bombay, uh, in Delhi, people still wear lots of traditional saris, uh, I, which I don't see in Bombay or even Calcutta, actually, to be honest. Uh, we, obviously, in the South, people will wear all their beautiful kanji varans, but in Delhi, there is a huge number of people who wear spectacular uh, weaves, uh, in as far as saris are concerned, the spectacular paitanis, right. jamdhanis, right. you know, beautiful, even uh, sort of, uh, just, you know, spectacular weaves. So there's that... There's a set of women and men in Delhi who have that very kind of what we might interpret as an intellectual kind of look, which is very khadi-esque and very kind of right. very sort of uh, earthy, yes. uh, very, uh, you know, the typical big bindi and the yeah. silver jewelry as you were talking about earlier. So we do have that as well, uh, more in Delhi than I think in any other in part any other of part. Uh, India. And uh, at the same time, like I said to you, the, um, the younger girls do like, do want to look very sexy. Right. There is there is a beautiful balance actually. I'm, I have to admit, there's a, there's a wonderful balance between, you know, very contemporary modern, and very traditional Indian. So I think that works quite well, mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, it's about keeping everyone happy as well. But you know, for an outsider, it is uh, perceived as a city that uh, loves dressing up, and that is uh, almost. Uh, obsessed uh, with the idea of looking good and 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 flaunting labels i don't know if i don't know if it always ends up looking perfect i'm not sure about that it's certainly a city that's dressed to kill all the time I think maybe people have all the time in the world i mean I <laughs> maybe they just have nothing else to do but uh, yes people do spend a lot of time dressing up where else would you wear like a you know a, a warm or you know a, a woolen uh, coat uh, with with fur with a with a fur collar button in the, I mean Delhi you know I don't I don't think you'll see women wearing that anywhere else I keep comparing it to Bombay obviously because I mean that's basically I and you know I know that that really is perhaps the other fashion capital in the country mm. I mean there's Bangalore which has incredible weather all year round but it's not fashionable from any angle Calcutta is way too traditional and I think it's not really a fashion city uh, Chennai again very traditional mm. and you know the the, the newest the, the you know this new fashion happening in smaller cities hyderabad uh, you know pune you know all these uh, you know ludhiana mm. uh, where people are getting very fashionable but delhi maybe perhaps the most uh, uh, brand obsessed so when i'm in bombay or any i can wear a pair of shorts wear chappals and walk into any restaurant or any place delhi is very different that way yes. And I think when women are dressed up in their jackets and their furs and their coats and their shawls, they, they look more brand. Stuff, yeah. 
they look more brand. So I don't know if it's actually more here. It just looks more here. You know, you mentioned uh, architecture and how it influences you. Is there one architectural wonder in the city that uh, you can think of that has really, really inspired your work? You know, the jharokas in these beautiful Mughal monuments. You know, the, the inlay is beautiful. Uh, the relief, marble relief, or even the sandstone relief is beautiful. And finally, Rohit, if Delhi were a genre in fashion, what would it be? I think if uh, Delhi were to be uh, sort of a fashion genre, I would perhaps just say traditional sexy. Now that is some definition that truly, truly defines the city. Thank you so much, Rohit Bal, for, for joining us uh, thank, this morning. Thank you so much, Pyari.